G'day, this is Captain Noob, and today we'll be discussing the deep lore of the Power Armor Station. Nah, I'm just kidding. This is the Scar LK. This is a highly customizable standalone weapon that uses what I believe to be the SMG animations. A uh, animation overhaul would be brilliant for that. <coughs> War Daddy. Now, this thing is a weapon that is from Crisis. It looks a little bit like the XM8, I believe, which was a weapon that was uh, never sort of uh, released, although it was like a concept weapon, I think. But anyways, it looks pretty good. So getting into the attachments, first of all, we've got the receivers, and the powerful automatic receiver is the most powerful one for the automatic variety. We can get a semi-auto receiver doing much better damage at a little bit less of a fire rate there, but we'll grab a um, semi-auto one and use it as a sniper in a bit. For now, we'll just work on our automatic one. Now, for the best range and accuracy, we'll put a long barrel there. That will hurt our vats a little bit, but that's going to be fine. And for the stock, we'll have a long stock because this thing does kick a little bit. I've um, been screwing around with it just in here, and I've figured out that, yeah, there's a little bit of recoil on this, which is going to make it nice and fun to use. And for the magazine's large quick ejector mag, I do not need to explain that. And for the sights, we've got the standard sights now, which actually are kind of good, I kind of like them. So I, while I want to keep them on, I'm not going to resist putting on that neat little reflex sight there. That'll probably help us quite a bit. And um, for the muzzles, obviously we're going for a suppressor because not only that, will that increase our damage, that'll make us just a little bit more stealthy. Now, if we want a little bit more zoom out of our reflex sight, or it's more of an FOV slider type thing, but uh, yeah, we can get a little bit more accuracy out of this if we put it to zoom 1.5, which I'm guessing the default is just the standard one times, which is good. And we can actually change this ammo uh, of this thing's bullets. You can actually fire up to 50 cals in here. Um, 38s and 45s do less damage than your standard 5.56s, and uh, 308s are a little bit more common, so you might be able to find those a little bit easier. But at 215 damage, sure, we'll be firing a full auto 50 caliber thing. I don't see any problems with that. Anyway, we'll go over to the color of this thing. So you can change this thing with uh, blue, green, and tan hexes, or just blue and green. These are quite subtle. My colorblind ass can barely see a difference, but it's there. So we'll go for the blue hex there, why not? And of course, a legendary effect is there if you feel like it, but nah, we won't need it. All right, we'll make a semi-auto one, make it a sniper type weapon, and we'll get into Gunner's Plaza. Okay, here we are in Gunner's Plaza, and this is our Scar LK in first person here, looking down sights. Looks like a pretty good little targeting aperture for us to aim through there. Turning around here, and in third person, that's what it looks like in third person. Yay! So the animations line up pretty well with the grip and the foregrip there, or just the barrel, I suppose. So that works out well. What doesn't work out too well is just the relay animation. That is because... Um, for the uh, Thompson, the little submachine gun that you'd find in the game, it has a reload animation where um, you sort of shift the mag in from the side. It really doesn't work with the, um, I guess you could say, stick mags of this weapon. As you can tell, you sort of clip it through the bottom of the thing, which is unfortunate, but whatever. Now, despite this thing firing 50 BMGs in an automatic fashion, there's not a lot of recoil under this, which is convenient. I don't think the recoil changes depending on what projectile you shoot, so that's kind of interesting. It'd make a lot of sense if it did. I don't know why you were shuffling there. I thought I had, um, I thought I had, um, clipping off for a second, but then I realized that I'm affected by gravity, so that's not the case. Anyways, we'll move on to this next person here. We seem to be doing pretty well so far. I wasn't exactly impressed by the base damage of the weapon card when we're looking through this thing, but yeah, it seems like we're doing fine. So this is the one with the advanced receiver here, and, um... Oh, I think we got a sniper knockdown despite using like a reflex sight type weapon, which is great news. That means the one I grabbed with a scope can be used for more long range applications, whereas this one can be used for more of a um, sort of a mid range application. Also, since it's a see through scope type deal, yep, there's a knockdown again that just confirms it. Yeah, since it's a see through scope in third person. You can aim just like you would with the iron sights in terms of zoom, which is great. We'll whip out our scoped one, that's hot keyed on three, and yep, just uses a basic short scope there. We won't see much use out of that, so we'll put that away for now, and go back to our automatic one. I've got one more prepared for just a little bit later, but we'll go ahead and mow that person down here. So yeah, this thing seems to be balanced quite well, it doesn't seem too overpowered, but at the same time, it's not 
ludicrously underpowered. So yeah, even though the realism is a little bit dubious, um, as I say, I get sh as I um, get shot by a rocket and live. Um, yeah, this thing firing 50 cows with this little recoil. I don't know, maybe it's like a super futuristic gun with um, recoil compensating technologies that um, couldn't be explained. It couldn't be explained to our mortal minds, but. Yeah, I guess that's the only issue of it, but uh, it's a video game and I don't really care about realisticness in firearms there. Uh, you can pick up lots of 50 cal um, bullets, but no mags to put the thing in, so um, yeah, we've got to suspend our disbelief somewhere. We'll move on to something else, probably the gauntlet. I feel like it's a good day for the gauntlet. Okay, so time to run the gauntlet again. There's Gerald over there as always, but let's see if we can snipe out some of these gunners from under his nose here. So I call this one the gauntlet because it's got a good range of enemies. You've got the sort of medium strength gunners over here. These guys can't, aren't quite as what they are in Gunners Plaza, but there's still some sort of tanky ones out there somewhere. Also, you can hold your breath for bloody ever when you've got the sniper perks set up. Look at that. I have my breath for that long and all those action points just come back immediately. So yeah, you get a nice range of people. You get some medium sort of level gunners. You get squishy raiders to kill and you go ahead and kill some super mutants and you engage them at sort of long medium and short ranges which is pretty good there as you can tell this thing is quite yeah it's just decimating all of the lower tier stuff but when it comes to these super mutants it probably won't be doing so well and you know what we'll swing by the dusky yaogwai he's usually around here somewhere that's a that's a frag mine um, anything out here? No, just, uh, usually the bear likes to sit out here, but... Oh wait, there he is, never mind. Okay, a little bit of hip fire, and he goes down very, very quickly indeed. So, yeah, stacking sneak attack critical is any weapon that's going to be doing that is powerful because of the all of the inherent bonuses, but yeah, this thing can do it too. Alright, so we'll switch over to our medium range sort of DMR type build for this thing, and yeah, we can do pretty well with this thing. Now, we might be biting off a little bit more weak than we can chew when it comes to um, this scope. We might have to switch to our sniper one again and see if we can't sort of get some... Uh, oh, there's a suicider somewhere. Yep, we can get a shot at you if you just... No, you moved. Damn it. Okay, so these guys don't usually like to come out of their scrapyard. They can tend to just sort of sit in there, so that sort of makes you have to go on the attack because these guys really don't want to pop out. Which, you know, fair play, sure. Although, it'd be more beneficial for the suicider over here to actually... To actually charge him, because otherwise he just gets knocked like that. Alright, so there's a warlord over there. He seems to be quite an adequate range for this combat scope. I really do enjoy the see-through type scopes. Especially the ones that give you the sniper knockdown effects, because... Oh, it's just dirty, but anyways, we'll quickly move in this sort of direction. There should be just a few left. There's one in the bus. Mmm, stuttering frame rate. Thank you, Todd Howard. And we'll come around here. Oh, there's a couple more, actually. So, we'll go in and clear out this doggo first. Why not? There we go. And one above me. Very close above me, according to this. Ah, uh, there's one. Oh, I should, probably should have gone for a crit and vats there, because that shot was very fleeting. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting hit. And, ooh, 1600 damage on the headshot with sneak attack criticals. Yes, yes, very powerful weapon indeed. And that one was just a brute, so uh, take that one with a grain of salt. Okay, so this thing appears to be doing pretty well. So we'll move on to the main event now, which is Gerald over there. We'll jump over these things. Yeah, I'm getting good at that at this point. And what we want to do is firstly clear out all of his minions, which um, there's quite a lot of them actually, but luckily for us we've got a, a powerful weapon, we'll go for the best DPS type deal here, we'll try to avoid hitting um, old mate Gerald there, and okay, we're all clear except for one, and if we can avoid detection that would be good. I'm glad you're very imperceptive, and that's just a super mutant warlord, we'll just nail him in bats. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, a panic fire rocket hit us and did bugger all damage. Tanky in Fallout 4, it happens to you as well as the enemies. Okay, we'll go loud and proud for this bit. This is a powerful automatic furious one. And as you can tell there from the sounds, yeah, it does use the vanilla assault rifle sounds, which, you know, it makes sense. They can use them. It's there. Very easy to put in. Ooh. 
Okay, we, we are getting the slowdown. Why aren't we getting the slowdown? There it is. So we got really lucky there. Gerald didn't kill us in one shot. Something else is shooting at me. Oh, looks like I didn't clear out the scrapyard properly. And that is why you use a uh, don't use a suppressed gun when you want to clear stuff out. So this actually might be... Oh, never mind. I was going to say it might be tough, but no. Then we leveled up and got all of our health back. Very good. So we'll switch. We'll just go ham with our automatic one at this range there. Should probably bring out the furious one at this point. That'll get a little bit better damage when we start shooting at them there so very good and yes I'm actually using an unsuppressed weapon what a day what a day this has been okay so as we can choke point these guys on these stairs that one's decided not to run over here we'll go ahead and zero in on his face do a crit there's a nice cinematic camera angle of a critical there very good camera work when it comes to the criticals they usually have really good things but they just take too long sometimes Sometimes you really want the bullets to be coming out of your gun rather than doing a cool action stance with the weapon in your hand. I learned that in one hit wonder run, but there, there you go. That was the Scar LK doing pretty well in the gauntlet there. Not sure if um, you've been timing all of these, but yeah, um, compared to other weapons, I'd say it went pretty well. So yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to something else because that light seems to not want to shine on us. There we go. I think it's a little bit too late for that spotlight to be operating. Okay, so time to kill a giant lobster again, why not? Also, he's got the drop on us there, starting to detect me before I can even start firing at him. So right now we've got the sniper one, so we're going to get the knockdown effects every so often. And since he's such a large target, he should be relatively easy to hit. I think I've ragdolled him under the water there, so I'm not sure whether he can even attack me. Um, you know what, I'll take out that bear in bats, why not? He's only going to service um, me troubles later, and not even bats can detect the uh, lobster now. Where have you gone, mate? Let's peek underwater for a second. Have you fallen through the earth, perhaps? Also, this is kind of weird. You're holding... Okay, I think we got him. Oh, wait, no, he's... He's sort of under the earth, but not close enough to actually rise. I think I've ragdolled him through the earth. One second. Yep, there he is. Um, I'm going to just pop him back into the overworld. And begin. And he's... Now he's sort of stuck up there. Uh, ooh! Okay, he's using advanced levitation powers in order to kill me. Um, that's kind of odd. Um, usually you'd think gravity would pull him down, but no, he just he's just defying gravity today. I didn't know lobsters could do that, but maybe when they do live as long... Oh, there we go. See, even in death, there is no escaping gravity. Okay, so does that Milo care? Not particularly. I think we'll leave him alone, and that is about it for the Scar LK. This is actually a pretty solid weapon. I would highly recommend uh, one of the modders um, giving this thing animations. That would be brilliant, but yeah. I highly recommend this downloading too, so um, yeah, if you want to check this out for yourself, links will be in the description. I believe this one is on Xbox One because it's old, and uh, even when I googled this thing, there was a bunch of other YouTubers that actually reviewed this thing, so yeah, I'm super late to the party on this, but yeah, it gets my tick of approval if that means anything. I also um, place Rain the Raiders com uh, companion mod, which the... That's the last I'm playing as right now. Yeah, that'll be in the description too, because, yeah, gotta plug my mods in or all, nobody would download them. Thank you for watching, guys.